Huzzah, the wait is finally over. I think you guys have all been waiting for this. I hope you're very, very excited. We're going to look at one of the three solos in the stage, My Event Sevenfold. Let's take a look. As you've guessed it, the usual drop D Avenge Seven Fold tuning, which is D A D G B E. So get yourself in tune and we'll get started. All right, guys, let's have a look at the first section. I want to start off with this little hammer on idea going from four to five on the third string. I'm going to do that idea twice and then slide over to eighth fret and I'm going to go from eight to nine twice. We're only picking those once each. Okay, then from there. I'm jumping to the second string and doing the same idea from seven to eight. So we should have this. At the end of that, I'm gonna slide from eight to 12 on the second string and then slide backwards from 12 to eight. So we're gonna have, hopefully that makes sense. Let's try that all again a little bit slower. Okay, then after that, I work into this little arpeggio. I guess if we're, uh... You can think of that as an E minor if you wish. I'm sliding into 12 of the third string, and then I'm gonna play 12 of the second, then back up to 12 of the third. And a similar idea, from the first string, I'm gonna play 12 of the first, 12 of the second, back to 12 of the first. So it goes. At the end of that, I'm gonna play 15, 12, 15 on the first string. And then what I'm gonna do is work up to 19 of the first string and just sweep down. That's straight E minor arpeggio. So it's going to go 19, 15 on the first string as a pull off. I'm going to play 17 of the second and 16 of the third. Pretty common arpeggio shape. And then I'm playing 17 of the fourth and 19 of the fifth. From there, I'm going to ascend back up to the third string. So at that point, I'm ending on 16 of the third. Then I hammer to the minor seven, so it'll go. At the end of that, I'm hammering from 16 to 19 on the third string. At the end of that, I'm gonna bend 17 up a full tone on the third string, bend it down and play 16. And at the end of that, I'm gonna play 17, 16 as a pull off and slide to 14 on the third string. So let's go from that arpeggio now. Let's take the whole thing from the start thus far and then we'll have a look at the second half. Okay, hopefully that's all making sense. The next phrase kind of reminds me of um, something Dan Donegan does a little bit, this little part here. All right, let's take our time with this. I'm gonna slide into 14 of the third string then play 15 of the second. Then back up to 14, and then play 17 twice on the second string for the second time I bend it. So all together thus far, then I bring it down, I'm pulling off from 17 to 15 on the second, and then jumping back up to 14 of the third. Okay, to finish this off, I've got these sort of chromatic um, sliding ideas with a bit of trim. So all I'm doing is just sort of starting from a random fret, let's say eight and I'm going. And then when I get to 16 of the third string, I've got that pinch harmonic. It's really important to know how many frets your guitar has and what kind of positions are gonna get these squeals because I could do it perfectly again. But if I miss the harmonic, it's gonna sound like balls. So what I'm doing here, if you've got a 24 fret guitar, my first squeal is in between these two pickups here, so. You'll hear that and I do exactly the same thing. That random kind of chromatic slide and then I've got that squeal on 16 again. And my squeal's here. Now when I do the next one, you'll notice that my pinch harmonic has to move 
with, uh, with my hand and when these frets are moving as well. So let's have a look what we've got here. I've got 16 of the third, 16 of the second, and then 19 of the second. And then I do it again from 22. And then at the end of that, I'm going to hit the 22 again and then play 20. And that's the end of the first section. So we've got the pinch harmonic there as well. That's pretty much the whole section. Let's take it slowly from the start and then we'll do it again even slower with some taps. One more time with some taps. Let's have a look at the second section. I want to start from 20 of the second string. I'm going to do a big bend, then play 20, 19, and then 20, 19 again, but add a 17. So all together. Okay, the next thing I'm going to have a swooping slide into 17 to the fourth, doesn't matter where I start, and then work into that sweep with the bend. So that slide was going into 17 of the 4th string, and then I had a basic E minor arpeggio. I was playing 16 of the 3rd, 17 of the 2nd, and then 15, 19 of the 1st. But as soon as I hit that 19, I'm going to do a bend, a semitone straight away. At the end of that, I was going to do a bend, it was a full tone, yes, from 20 of the 1st string, and then I bring it back down at a rest position and then vibrato it. All right, let's go from what we've got thus far into that sweep and then we'll work through the hilarious slidey riff. Here we go. Okay, the next bit is super tricky to play. I've heard them play it live and it does sound like they're just struggling to get this. So it is a little bit uh, living la vida loca as they say. I'm gonna start off with a pull off from 17 to 13 on the first and second string. Okay, then I want to jump back to 10 of the second. And then I'm going to do a slide from 10 to 13, sorry, from 13 to 15 and then back to 13. So we're going. Okay, then from that point I'm going to do a slide from 10 to 13 back to 10. And then 8 to 10 back to 8. So we're going to go. Okay, now the next bit. The same from the third string to the fourth string. So I'm going to go 10, 12, 10 on the third as a slide, and then 7, 10, 7 as a slide, and the same thing on the fourth. Let's go from the start of this phrase nice and slow. Okay, the last bit that we do before the final section, I'm going to go tw uh, 10, 12, 10 on the fifth. And then I'm going to slide from 8 to 6, twice. And that'll lead us into the last section. So I'm going to do this whole slidey phrase one more time. We'll go back to the start of the section, play it all relatively slowly, and then do it again with some tabs. All right, right back to that 20 bend on the second string. time with some tabs. All right, let's have a look at the last section. We're going to start from six of the fifth string. And I'm going to work through this little cheeky chromatic from seven, eight, nine on the fourth. So we've got, then I work into this phrase. Okay, so what we've got here, I'm going to play 11, 12, 13, and then pull off 
back to the 12. And then play 13 again. So we've got... Okay, at the end of that I go to this. A very similar idea. I'm playing 11 of the third string, pulling off 12 back to 11, and then plucking the 12 again. So we've got... The next bit. Let's slow that down. I'm going to play 12, 13 on the second string, pull off back to that 12, and then slide from 11 to 10. It's getting very chromatic here. It's quite weird, but I think it's pretty awesome. And then I'm going to jump to 13 of the third string, and then I'm going to hammer 10, 11, 12 on the third. So this is what we should have thus far from the start. Okay, from there I want to slide into 16 of the second string, hit it again when I get there, do a very similar idea from 14 of the first, so slide in, hit it again when I get there, and then we have this diminished lick. So this is a pretty simple idea just played quite quickly. The initial idea I had was a pull off from 17 to 14 on the first string, I play 16 of the second, then 17 of the third. I pull that off and slide back a tone and a half. So that was a pull off from 17 to 14 and then I slide to 11. From there I hammer back to 14 and then play 13 of the second string and then play 11 of the first string. So it's perfect diminished. Now this is a little bit strange, but I'm gonna quickly jump over to that 11 note that I've hit with my pointer, substitute my ring finger, and then I'm gonna do pretty much exactly the same thing from 11th fret of the first string. So let's go over this idea slowly. I'm gonna play 11, eight on the first string. Then I'm gonna play 10 of the second, pull off 11, eight on the third, then slide to five. You see how that's exactly the same? And the forward part of the arpeggio is also the same. So I'm gonna hammer from five to eight, play seven of the second, then five of the first. And at the end of that, resolve to eight of the second. So this is what the whole diminished idea will sound like. And that's the whole thing. So let's take it from that sixth fret at the start of the section relatively slowly, and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. One more time with some tabs. And that was the first of three solos in the Stage by Ben Sevenfold. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. Do stay tuned. I will be releasing the next two as soon as I'm able to get them done. If you like this lesson, please like and subscribe. And also, if you'd like to subscribe to my Facebook group, there is a link in the description and also a link to my Patreon account. If you want to get some cool prizes and uh, donate and get some other exclusive stuff that you don't get off YouTube. Anyway, I'll catch you guys very soon.